This is Miss Talcott, the librarian, and we had a very nice paper cutting story that I'd like to share with you. And it starts with this piece of paper. And is this a square? It's a rectangle, and we know it's a rectangle, long, long, short, short. But I need a triangle, so I fold it. And I trim it. And this triangle is too big, so I'm going to fold it again and again. And now it's just right for our story. Once upon a time, there was a little boy and a little girl, and they got a package in the mail. And they opened up the package, and inside the package was a present from their grandparents. And they opened up the present. And inside the present was a tent. And they knew it was a tent because in their book, Brave Bunny, the Brave Bunny had a tent with a little door. And their tent also had a little door. And the boy and the girl, they loved the little door because that meant that they had to crawl into their tent. Now the grandparents wanted the boy and the girl to share the tent, but they decided that they could each have their own window. The window at the top could be the boy's own window because he was a little bit older and a little bit taller than his sister and he could see out that window. And what the boy really wanted to do, he wanted to crawl into the tent in the nighttime and look out his own window at the stars was very interested in the stars. And the window underneath could be for the girl because she was a little bit younger and a little bit shorter than her brother. And she also liked the stars, but what she was really interested in was nighttime animals, nocturnal animals. Maybe out her own window, she would see an owl like in Brave Bunny. There was one more window at the bottom and the grandparents said they had to share. And so the window at the very bottom of the tent was for the baby. The boy and the girl decided that the baby could come and visit them and crawl around and look out his window. And then the baby would have to go back in the house and sleep in his crib. He was not big enough to sleep outside in the tent. Now the tent had a hole in it. At the tippy top, there was a hole. And the boy and the girl, they wondered about that hole. Why did their tent have a, and then they had an idea. Maybe when they're really big, they could have a campfire in their tent and the hole would be a chimney hole, just like in Brave Bunny. Brave Bunny had a campfire and maybe they could have a campfire too. Well, the boy and the girl were so excited about their tent. They ran to their mother and father and said, Mommy, Mommy, Daddy, Daddy, look, look what Grandma gave us. Look what Grandpa gave us. It's a tent. It's a tent. Can we sleep outside in our tent? Please, Mommy, please, Daddy, pretty, please. And the Mommy and the Daddy said, No, it's the middle of the winter. You can't sleep outside in your tent in the middle of the winter. But Boy and the girl said, oh, please, mommy, please, daddy. We'll have two pairs of pajamas. We'll have our blankets, our sleeping bags, our pillows, our teddy bears, our flashlights. Please, mommy, please, daddy. And the mommy and the daddy talked about it. And they talked about it. And this is what they said. We will watch the weather report. If, if the meteorologist says that it's not going to be too cold, then... Yes, you may sleep outside in your tent. Yippee, said the boy and the girl, and they ran to watch the weather report. And guess what? It was not going to be too cold. So the boy and the girl put on their two pairs of pajamas, and they got their sleeping bags and their pillows and their blankets and their teddy bears and their flashlights, and they crawled. 
crawled into their tent. And the boy looked out his own window. He saw a million stars. And the girl looked out her own window. Whoo! She saw an owl. And the baby looked out his own window. But we don't know what the baby saw because the baby did not know how to talk yet. And then the mommy and the daddy came and gave the boy and the girl a kiss goodnight and took the baby back inside the house to sleep in his crib. And the boy and the girl played with their flashlights and their teddy bears, and pretty soon they went to sleep too. But while they were sleeping, in the middle of the night, something happened. Very slowly and very quietly, it began to snow. Thank you.